So after this Nbook series, today I have brought Viewbook series laptop, which is Asus Viewbook S15 OLED Copilot Plus PC with the latest new Snapdragon X Plus processor. As you know, Snapdragon launched its ARM-based CPU for laptops. Also, you can watch its unboxing video on Shoot Tech Smart. So let's perform advanced test on it and see how it performs. So hello guys, welcome to Shoot Tech Smart 2.0. Let's start. Going with technical specification, the first one is processor. It is a Snapdragon X Plus X1 P4 200 CPU with code name Orion, up to 3. 4.4 gigahertz of frequency and 8 cores, 8 threads with up to total of 30 MB cache memory. Up to 45 watt of TDP and 75 tops for AI tasks. As you know, all new laptops are optimized with AI tasks, so it has a dedicated NPU which is called Qualcomm Hexagon NPU with 45 tera operations per second. Next about graphics, it's an integrated GPU called Qualcomm Adreno X145 GPU with 8 GB of shared memory. Memory installed in this laptop is 16 GB of LPDDR5X onboard RAM with 8448 MHz of frequency. For storage, this laptop occupied with 1 terabyte WD NVMe PCI Gen 4 SSD, so you can't upgrade both memory or storage options. In the last about connectivity options, it has fastest ever Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 for super fast connections. You can control all the options about display, sound and battery performance modes in my Asus app. As you can see battery care mode, AI noise cancellation microphone, sound modes, volume booster, Asus OLED care, color gamut and adaptive brightness, lock and lock function key and touchpad. And all the upgradable warranty options are available in my Asus app. So before starting the gaming test, I performed the benchmark test on this laptop. As you can see the scores, Cinebench R23 single core CPU score are 1117, multi core score 6925 and Geekbench 6 CPU score 2375 and multi core 11418. And the OpenCL GPU scores done 9954. In the last cross mark gives overall score of 1365. US benchmark software like PC Mark 10 and 3D Mark 10 Spy don't turn on this ARM based CPU because it's a new ARM based processor and doesn't optimize with the previous 64 bit softwares. So now let's play the games. First one is your favorite GTA 5 with full HD resolution and high graphics settings. As you are seeing the statics, 50% of CPU usage and 10 GB of RAM usage, it gives 70 FPS frame rate. And I think MSI Afterburner also not optimized with the CPU because it not showing all the statics like GPU and temperature. So we are moving to next game, Sniper Elite 3 with HD resolution and high graphics settings. As you're seeing in the gameplay, CPU usage is only 15% and RAM usage is 7GB. The frames are fluctuating between 50 to 80 FPS. And our last game is a TPP action game called Specs of the Line with full HD resolution and high graphics settings. So with 35% of CPU and 3GB of RAM, it gives only 40 FPS. 
So the gameplay was smooth and obviously this is not a gaming laptop so frames and graphics are limited but you can perform casual gaming on this laptop. Also the benchmark score seems good at this configuration. So this is all about its performance. Now let's talk about its physical overview. So this laptop comes in cool silver color with aluminum build because it's a military grade certified laptop. Next about visuals this laptop has a 3K OLED glossy display with a resolution of 2880 by 1620. Aspect ratio 16 is to 9 and color accuracy is 100% decent. P3 with the brightness of 500 nits and peak brightness is up to HDR 600 nits. Its refresh rate is 120Hz and contrast ratio is 1 million is to 1. Also it is a TV Greenland certified display so it produces up to 70% less harmful blue light. At the top of the display you get a full HD infrared camera with windows hello support and physical privacy shutter. Also you get dual array noise cancellation microphone besides it. Next about inputs this laptop has a backlit chiclet one zone RGB keyboard which supports windows dynamic lighting and dedicated copilot key. With a large size precision touchpad which supports smart gestures like volume and brightness control. Next about audio features this laptop has stereo speakers sound provided by Herman Kardon and this laptop also supports Dolby Atmos sound with smart amplifier which can boost volume up to 130% and this Copilot Plus PC powered with a 3 cell 70 watt hour battery which can be charged with the type C 65 watt adapter and supports fast charging up to 60% in 49 minutes. And the last thing about software is it's preloaded with Windows 11 home single language and Microsoft Office 2021 home and student. So guys this is all about this Asus VivoBook S15 OLED Copilot Plus PC. I tell you about its features and performance and budget of this laptop cost up to 90,000 rupees. You can purchase it from the link in the description. In my opinion it's a value for money laptop with this configuration but talk about cons the new ARM based CPUs are not fully optimized with all the softwares. It takes time. So this is it. If you like this PC you can purchase it. I hope you like the video. I'll meet you in next detail gaming review of any other laptop. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Jai Hind Vande Matram.